Grade 11s, in this lesson, we will look at the different ways of proving that a quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. For that, we need to prove that all four of the vertices of a quadrilateral lie on the circumference of a circle. To do this, we use the converse of a cyclic quadrilateral theorem and the results that follow from that theorem. Let's cross to John who will cover the converse and the first method of proving that a quadrilateral is cyclic. The theorem about supplementary angles of a cyclic quad has a converse. Look at the theorem statement and work out what the converse will be. Here it is. If the opposite angles of a quadrilateral are supplementary, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. In other words, when we say that a quadrilateral is cyclic, it means that it is possible to draw a perfect circle that touches all four corners or vertices of the quad. Thanks, John. This proof is not required for examination purposes because it is a converse of a theorem. There are two other ways to prove that a quad is cyclic. If the exterior angle of a quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle of that quadrilateral, then the quad is a cyclic quad. We need to remember that an exterior angle is the angle between the extended side of the shape and the adjacent side. This can be clearly seen in the diagram. The third way is an extension of the theorem that states that an arc subtends equal angles at the circumference. If a line segment subtends equal angles at two vertices, then all four vertices form a cyclic quad. Another way of putting this is, if one side of a quadrilateral subtends angles of equal size at the other vertices, then the quad is cyclic. Even if the last side is not drawn in, it can be clearly seen that the resultant quad would be cyclic. To summarize, there are three different ways to prove a quad cyclic. Proving opposite interior angles are supplementary, or secondly, proving an exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle, or thirdly, proving that a line subtends equal angles. Did you know that all squares and rectangles are cyclic? It is possible to draw a circle around every square and rectangle, irrespective of the size. Their interior angles are right angles, and so the opposite interior angles are supplementary. We now cross to John, who will work through a numerical problem with our good friend Kanya. See if you can solve this problem. Here you are given a quad MNPQ with MN extended to R. You also know that MN is parallel to PQ. Prove that MNPQ is a cyclic quad. How can you prove that MNPQ is cyclic, Kanya? Well, if you can show that its opposite angles are supplementary, then it's cyclic. Yes, and here is a useful tip. It's enough to prove that one pair of opposite angles is supplementary. Use the information you have. You will remember that core interior angles on parallel lines are supplementary. What does that tell you, Kanya? M plus Q equals 180 degrees. Correct. So 97 plus Q must be 180. That makes Q equals to 83 degrees. So Q plus N must also be equal to 180 degrees. And that's all we need. M and P Q is cyclic because N and Q are supplementary. Thank you, John. Remember to memorize the three ways to prove a quad cyclic. You never know which one you'll need to use. Try the task video at the end of this section. You will also be able to learn more about circle geometry on our website, www mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s.